Our next project is to cut off this transmission rubber mount and hopefully part of that neck that comes out, which is for all wheel drive cars. So we're gonna chop this off and then what I'm gonna do is put my scope in there and make sure that that other part is hollow. And if it is, I'm gonna chop off as much of that as I can as well. Show you when we're done. Here we go, part way done. Made a cut right here with a little disc cut there, cut back here, popped it off, pull that off, and we're part way to cutting off this whole end. Now I can just hit this with a little flat disc and clean it up a little bit, and I can hopefully trim this down flat, kind of right with that seam right there is what I'm hoping. That's the plan. Drilled two little pilot holes in the top here so I could put my scope camera down in there. I had drilled one in the center to begin with and I couldn't quite figure out the depth of a bearing in here by looking through the camera. So I drilled one to the, to the edge so I could hit it with the scope and I realized that that bearing sits almost right at the bottom. So I was gonna leave just a little buffer here and cut off from the blue tape up. Uh, made the tape mark so I can kind of keep a nice straight edge. I'm a little nervous about all the shit that's gonna fly inside of there, but I guess that's a cost to show biz with this off to figure out how to clean it out when I'm done. So I'm gonna cut this off and uh, we'll show you what's going on when, when we're done. Here's our before and after. I cut the transmission rubber mount off and that makes it look like that. And then I bore scoped the inside of here, chopped that off, gets me another couple, almost three inches of space to be able to mount this. Use the flap disc to grind it down nice, stuff some rags in here to keep the shit out of there. So that makes that shorter because it mounts on the back of the 302 small block Ford and it gets mounted, this gets mounted upside down. So this is actually the top, this used to be the bottom in the 911. Gets mounted upside down and then mounted right in here. So 302, transaxle on the back, slips right in there. Your drive shafts come out at each side. There it is, chopped off.